Now those electric scooters are catching on quick in Europe and another continental craze is big wheel scoots. This one is the Peugeot Luxor 50, yours for £1,800. The bigger wheels offer an increased feeling of security and stability. Very popular with the ladies, which is perhaps why this one has been painted all over with nail varnish. Another manufacturer who thinks the way to the ladies' hearts is to paint your big wheel scooter with nail varnish are Honda. This is the SH125 and it's yours for just £1,900. The ultimate big wheel scoot though is surely Piaggio's exciting new B500, but is it a big wheel scoot or is it a maxi scoot? The chance to answer that question must be the top man for Piaggio, Martin Marshall. So Martin, what is it? It is the new maxi scooter, it's a new class, it's a new sector that we're developing. It crosses over between what you would consider to be the existing maxi scooter but starts to bring in motorcycle technology in the size of uh, the wheels and the suspension and the braking. So it really is a new sector on its own. Stability, the suspension, the braking system, it is delivering that sort of performance that they're expected and they're, and they're used, used to in, in their car world. Yeah, we've got a 16 inch front wheel. I mean, is this strictly speaking a motorcycle? It starts to get close to motorcycle technology and that perhaps is the other area that we're looking at is that motorcyclists who they would love to ride their motorcycle every day of the week perhaps they're, they're, they're working again in the sounds of the cities but actually maybe a motorcycle is a little bit impractical. Yeah. This is you, you put your helmet on, you chuck on some, uh, some uh, warmer gear and you're, you're in your office in, in next yeah. to no time. But again, they still have that big wheel comfort, that big wheel stability thing that they're used to riding a motorcycle. Yeah. Of course, it's much slimmer than most of the maxi scooters, isn't it? So filtering traffic. Filtering traffic, usability, coming through, coming through those clogged up city, city lanes, it is absolutely perfect. It just squeezes into those gaps, it's perfect. It's not really got any competition at the moment, has it? It hasn't got any competition at the moment. It, again, the maxi scooter sector in the UK is developing. It's, it's only been in existence let's say for the last two or three years and I think we still have a big education job to do in the UK with as we say with car users we're, we're using the car sitting in traffic every day and motorcyclists we want to use the bike but actually feel it's a bit impractical so we've got a lot of work to do and I think that's the strength of Piaggio is that we've got now a fairly diverse range we've got B500 we've got the new X9500 Evolution and of course the new Jalera Nexus so there is something there for everybody and using those three completely separate and different uh, model lineup then I think you're going to see big steps forward in the in the maxi scooter the handling and performance of the b500 are a match for any maxi scooter but it can filter which is a huge advantage it'll have anything away from the lights and out on the open road it's quite astonishing but this is east lancashire what about riding a scooter around london so much quicker i mean get anywhere in about 20 minutes and just zip through traffic no congestion charge it's quite good so don't have to pay any of that no parking fees as well it's a real bonus. Well, what prompted it, myself and my flatmate were watching Quadrophenia one night and literally thought, I've been wanting to do it for years, since I was a teenager. So I literally popped along here the next day and bought one. Uh, the best thing about riding a scooter in London for me is winding up Larry car drivers, who they're stuck in the traffic and you just leave them behind. They're absolutely great. I mean, you think you picture, you know, all those pictures with Charlton Heston jumping off on one in his Roman suit to uh, Dean Martin, you know, with that pretty girl in the back. I mean, they're just absolute fashion icons, or maybe fashion icons is not the, the right word, but style icons. So I thought to myself, when I was buying a Vespa, I'm going to choose a very retro looking bike, which of course I've seen in the movies and so on and so forth. That's what I went for. Just the accessibility. I mean, it's a 10 minute journey wherever I want to go, when I want to go. There's no, there's no stopping me. From a work perspective, getting to work, it's absolutely fantastic. You miss all the traffic or you can weave in and out the traffic if you dare. So that's great. So you can get into work. I can get into work, what, within five minutes? But if I take the tube or get the bus, it's probably half an hour journey. So that's absolutely fantastic. So the advantages are really with all this congestion around us is getting around. So uh, that's, the, that's the very best part of it. But the great fun. And I can honestly say it's the best buy I've ever made because I've probably saved it in taxi fares in any case. So scootering in the city means you get to save loads of time, loads of money and loads of hassle when it comes to parking. But there's a downside. There are people who vandalise your scooter, there are people who try and steal your scooter, and then you fall off. It's quite easy to come off it. Right. Got to say, I mean, I had a crash on, just on Sunday, um, and came off it, I kind of got a little graze on my arm and stuff. Um, people don't see you as much, I suppose. Um, 
yeah, that's, well, that's, that's about it. I'm also taking people, the weather, you know, during rain, it's not too pleasant riding around. The disadvantages really are, uh, the main one is obviously being other motorists as well. I mean, I drive as well. And uh, ever since I've been doing this, you know, beforehand, I probably didn't take much notice of motorcycles. I thought, well, they're not getting in my space. That's the disadvantage because it's a bit dangerous and there's nothing worse than seeing somebody come off the bike or somebody limping along. So that's the real disadvantage. Well, unlike popular belief, I just don't think there is a disadvantage. I mean, if you know how to ride, you're not going to have a problem.